Praise God. Praise God. Well, friends, continue to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Well, in the United States, today is voting day. Today is midterm election day. And uh, of course, uh, there's exposure happening. We see even in Maricopa and Arizona and the Phoenix area, we see where so-called the machines are not working. So this is a season of exposure and this is a season of judgment. But I also believe it's also a season of justice. Some say justice, where I believe we're going to see a red tsunami wave in America. We're going to see the tsunami wave of God's glory, of his justice, and of the blood of Jesus, and even of uh, the Republican Party. We're going to see victories. We're going to see win. And it's time to overturn every plot plan of evil scheme of wickedness in the United States, corruption in America and all across. Someone say amen. And the Lord was talking to him about Maricopa because copa in Espanol means cup. So Maricopa is a cup and it is a city. It is a cup. And I believe out of the cup of Arizona, we're going to see the cup of the blood of Jesus, the cup of the new wine of communion in Jesus' name. But I got a word to share today, and I know in the United States right now, uh, it's voting day, it's midterm voting, midterm election, so go out and vote, make sure you vote. I'm sure in the East Coast and most places, uh, the polls are almost closed in a sense, but we need to pray against corruption, pray against wickedness, against fraud and against all this nonsense because it's time for exposure and it's time for judgment and it's time for justice. Can I get an amen? But let me tell you, uh, even uh, I'm sure you can look outside. I mean, last night we landed in Korea and we saw the blood moon, the red blood moon in the sky. Someone say signs of the time. Somebody say signs that make you wonder. And even last night we landed into Korea and we saw the red blood moon in the sky. So, I mean, is it a coincidence? Talk to me. Is it a coincidence that there's a sign in the sky, there's a red blood moon all across the earth in the heavens? There's a red blood moon on the midterm election day. Is that a coincidence? I think not. That is not a coincidence. <clears throat> so that's a sign of the red blood of Jesus, <clears throat> of the righteousness of God, of the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. That's a sign. Someone say sign. And I believe, people of God, we are going to see a great red wave in the United States. It's time for overturning. It's time for returning. It's time for justice. And it's time for judgment in Jesus' name. Amen. But I'm here in Korea. I woke up this morning to some great news. And I'm not going to share the great news, but I woke up to some great news. Amen. I woke up to some great news. And I'm telling you, prophecies are coming to pass. Amen. Even for me to be here in Korea, this is prophetic. This is all prophetic for me personally. And for me being Korean, me being a Korean American. And tomorrow we're going to go over to the Osanri Prayer Mountain of Dr. Yonggi Cho tomorrow. And why is that important? Because Dr. Yonggi Cho is a general. And even though he passed about one or two years ago, he is a general. And he's a general of Korea and a general really of the Christian faith. He had the largest church in the whole world. And the prayer mountain, say prayer mountain, the prayer mountain was the pivotal uh, place in Korea where people will come from all around the world to this prayer mountain, seek the face of God, and they would pray, and they would encounter the Lord on this prayer mountain in Korea. And I'm going to be ministering there this weekend at the Osanri prayer mountain of Dr. Yonggi Cho. Hallelujah. So y'all keep me in prayer because it's time for a governmental anointing. It's time for governmental mantles, for ambassadorial anointings of the ambassador's grace. And I just sense in my spirit so strong that the Lord wanted me to hop on and tell you that prophecies are coming to pass. The word of the Lord is coming to pass. Amen. This is a season where we're going to see every single word that God has spoken come to pass. Words concerning justice. Words concerning the red tsunami. Words concerning Trump's comeback. Words concerning a financial boom, even in the midst of the downfall. We are going to see prophetic words come to pass. And every stronghold of the enemy of the demonic is going to fall and break. And I believe this is a season where we're going to see mountains move. Some say mountains move. We are in a season where we're going to see mountains move. I'm telling you, impossible mountains of corruption, human trafficking, pedophilia, irabrakata of fraud, uh, mountains of evil. We're going to see mountains moved in this season like never before. So I believe that this is a season of prophecies. 
and prayers coming to pass. Amen. And even as I'm here in Korea, and this is such a pivotal nation, region for the end times harvest. Even as I'm sitting here, I'm reminded of Isaiah 40, verse 15. Isaiah 40. Hallelujah. And if you're following me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Isaiah 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are like a drop in a bucket and are accounted as the dust of the scales. Behold, he takes up the coastlands like fine dust. So the word is saying the nations are like a drop in a bucket. A little drop of water in a bucket. Think about that. The nations. Korea, United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. It's like a drop in a bucket. Psalm 2. The Bible says, ask of me and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. Amen. So I'm sharing this because we are in a pivotal, crucial time of nations. Even with Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu just got reelected again, pretty much. Amen. So we are in a crucial time of seeing nations in the balance. Countries, nations, the hope of destinies of nations are caught up hanging in a balance right now. So we are in a crucial time. If you're following me, say amen. But God is saying, ask of me and I will give you the nations. The nations are like a drop in a bucket. In midst of international turmoil, international crises, wars and rumors of wars, in midst of the clashing of countries and nations and kingdoms and governments and regimes and, and political powers, even in the United States, in midst of all this movement and shaking, God is saying, ask me for the nations because they're like a drop in a bucket. And I believe this is a season we're going to see the word of the Lord come to pass. Amen. Over your life, over America, and concerning the nations of the earth. As each country is hanging in a balance right now. I feel the Lord right now, Jesus. As each country is hanging in the balance right now, will you become a sheep country or a goat nation? Will you become a covenant-bearing nation? Or will you be aligned with Baal and Baal, with the Cabal? And as nations are caught in a balance right now, this is the decision making of the Lord. This is a season where the books are open and decisions are being made. Justice is being released. There's going to be a rendering of the things of God and the things of heaven. Amen. Which means that prophecies are coming to pass. The word of the Lord is coming to pass. And I believe right now in this season, friends, God is saying, get ready for acceleration. Get ready for movement. Get ready for open doors. Get ready for the word of the Lord to come to pass concerning you, your life, America, and the region that you represent. If you're with me today, say amen. The Lord said exposure. The Lord said a red wave. Overturning. Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give me some hearts and likes, people of God. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because we are living in such prophetic times. I don't think we understand that many times. We are living in such prophetic times where things are changing at the blink of an eye. Things are moving so fast, so quickly. But you will be the head and not the tail. And not just that. But you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I'm telling you, we are in a season right now where the word of God is coming to pass. Hallelujah. In every nation, every country, every region. And God is raising up a remnant. God is raising up a new breed. God is raising up a remnant of people in every region, in every country, every people group. That will rise with the power and the glory of God. That will be watchmen on the wall. That will stand tall as pillars in a, braka, in a region, in a place. Will not bow down to Jezebel. Will not bow down to Baal. But will be watchmen. And will preach and prophesy until the word of the Lord comes to pass. I'm telling you, this is the moment right now. Where God is saying, like the servant 
came before Elijah and Elijah said, go and check. Go and check. The cloud's coming. The cloud's coming. Someone say the cloud's coming. Go and check because the cloud is coming. And the servant came back and said, there's no cloud. But the prophet Elijah commanded, instructed, and said, go back a second time, a third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time. And on the seventh time, he saw the cloud the size of a man's hand, the cloud of glory, the cloud of provision, the cloud of blessing, the cloud of breakthrough, the cloud of outpouring. I believe this is the season where God is saying, don't give up church because you are about to see the cloud. Amen. You are about to see the cloud. So keep standing tall, keep standing strong, keep preaching, keep prophesying, keep praying, declaring the word of the Lord, because we're about to see the hand of God shake America, the hand of Jesus Christ, shake California, Arizona, Texas, Pennsylvania, Georgia. We're about to see the hand of God shake Colorado. Come on, somebody. America will be shaken with the power of Jesus Christ. Rabata, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Amen. Because the cloud of, is coming. The prophetic word of the Lord is coming to pass. The word of Jesus Christ is coming to pass. Can I get a hallelujah? Shanda la 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 bota. Let me tell you, friends. It's breaking. Every Jericho wall of resistance is breaking. The dam is breaking. The witchcraft spirit is breaking. The resistance against you is breaking. Amen. Ruskata. I felt the power of Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. And some of you have been pulled back like a bow and arrow. Hear me now. Some of you have been pulled back. There's been resistance, opposition, opposing spirits, enemy spirits, slander, witchcraft, attacks against you. But you've been pulled back. Hear me now. But now you're going to get shot out like an arrow. Some of you are about to get shot out like an arrow because of the resistance you felt. I feel the Holy Ghost because of the opposition you felt. But guess what? It wasn't opposition and resistance. Yes, it was the testing of your faith. However, the pulling back, come on somebody, was preparing you and setting you up for your comeback and for your recompense. The pulling back wasn't just testing to mature your character, but it was pulling back for your recompense, for your sevenfold return, for your restitution, for your payback. Someone say payback, because I believe we're stepping into a season of the comeback and of the payback. Someone say come back. Even as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the headline said, Netanyahu, come back. I believe we're gonna see a Trump come back. We're going to see a church come back. We're going to see the gospel come back. Prayer come back. Holiness, righteousness come back. We're going to see the fire, the power of God. Jesus glorified come back. We're going to see a come back, come back of the Holy Ghost in the United States of America and in the nation of the world. Amen. Why? Because God's not done with America. God's not done with Israel. God's not done with Korea, North Korea, China. He's not done. Amen. So we're going to see the comeback anointing. Some say comeback anointing. You are going to see the comeback anointing. I'm prophesying to you. You're going to see the comeback anointing. And you thought you were being pulled back with resistance and opposition. Lord, what's going on? This spirit of delay. Am I being tested? Are doors being closed? Did I sin against you? Did I do something wrong? And you felt pulled back. But that was the comeback anointing. Because God is setting up a table before you and your enemies. My goodness. Some say preach, talk to Ben. Because God is setting up a table before you and your enemies. Amen. And I'm telling you, in this season, we are going to see the word of the Lord come to pass. Jesus. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Rabbi, we're going to see the word of the Lord come to pass. Every word concerning you, your family, your region, your country, it's going to come to pass. Someone say hallelujah. I need you to give me some hearts and likes in this place right now. Because the Lord said, the red wave is here. It's not just coming, but it's here. The red tsunami wave is here. Number two, the Lord said exposure. There is exposure coming. Exposure and justice coming. There is exposure and justice. 
that's coming. There is an overturning of wickedness, evil, and corruption coming. And the Lord said the nations are like a drop in a bucket. The nations. Hallelujah. The nations. Thank you, Lord. Have you been feeling a resistance? Have you been feeling opposition? Delay? Have you been feeling the warfare and the witchcraft? Well, let me tell you, friends. It's being broken. Because this is the year of 5, 7, 83, 20, 23, 3, means the third day anointing, the third year anointing of resurrection. So the third day anointing of resurrection is upon us this year. So this is going to be a resurrection year of comeback. This is going to be a resurrection year where things are being resurrected. And the Lord said he's resurrecting the church this year. And he's also resurrecting the United States. The devil, the cabal, the elitists, the so-called activists and riotists trying to kill and destroy America. But we're going to see a resurrection in the United States this year. Amen. If you believe it, say amen. Now, I know many of you have voted or you're vo voting now or you already voted. Let me tell you, pray. Because we are about to see the overturning and the turnaround of Jesus Christ. It's inevitable. It's unstoppable. Rababa, and even though people are trying to stop the word, of the, I'm telling you, the people are fed up. We're going to see a move. This is the season of seeing mountains be moved. Mountain be moved. Mountain of debt be moved. Mountain of delay be moved. Mountain of evil, corruption, and justice be moved. Of haterade, critics be moved. We're going to see mountains moved in this season. Amen. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Sha-la-la-la-la-bosa. Share this on your wall. Let us know where you were watching from. Praise God. Because the man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And I'm here live in Korea. I made it. The devil was really trying to delay me and discourage me. Stress me out from coming. But here we are. Amen. Here we are. And we're here in the glory of God. And I'm telling you, we're going to see nations shaken under the power of Jesus Christ. We're going to see nations, regions shaken under the power and the glory of Jesus Christ. Some would say, I am unstoppable. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Shh. Prophecies are coming to pass, friends. I woke up this morning with great news. I'm telling you, great news. Something I've been working on for three years finally came to pass it is written if you see it in the spirit it will eventually happen in the natural and for three years we've been going back and forth battling and you know discouraged because this certain thing wasn't happening but it finally happened today someone say hallelujah wow someone's watching it from macau china god bless you <sighs> glory shoot and this morning i woke up here glory be to god i woke up here and there was great news something i've been working on for three years came to pass today came to pass today it's it's a time of miracles let me tell you the cloud is coming the hand of god is coming it's unstoppable. Prophecies, miracles, suddenlies are coming. And I want to prophesy because the camels are coming. Let me tell you, we are going to see a financial shift. I'm talking 164 of you on the live right now and whoever's on the replay. We are going to see a financial shift. God is going to release financial prosperity and financial glory to all of his servants. I'm telling you, I feel this so strong. 2020 to now, it was a teaser and a tester. But God has built up our strength and our muscles. But I believe this season, you're going to see financial prosperity, glory, doors opening, elevation, promotion, double, double, double portions, justice, restitution, recompense, 
payback, comeback. You're about to see the word of the Lord come to pass. Your prodigals are coming home. Businesses are going to be open. There's going to be multi-million, billion dollar businesses, ideas exploding and imploding and manifesting this year, this season, because this is a season of resurrection. Some say resurrection. This is a season of resurrection power. Rabbi, keys are being released. Keys of breakthrough. Keys to open and to unlock. Keys to close and to shut. He's releasing the glory of God in this season. And prophecies are coming to pass. The word of the Lord is coming to pass. If you believe it, say amen. Give me some hearts and lights. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Because this season... I'm telling you, November to December, get ready to praise God. Get ready to worship the Lord. Get ready to shout hallelujah, to shout unto the Lord. Urabaka, get ready to testify. Get ready to praise you. Get ready to praise break. I'm telling you, you're going to see miracles in your family. You're going to see miracles all around you, your ministry, your business, the hand of God, the hand of God's favor is upon you. And when God's favor is upon you, no devil, no witch, no Jezebel can be against you, can remove it. Pastor Steve Mercado says, I had a dream this morning of million dollar checks from businessmen and I was at a Jewish wedding. Amen. You know what that Jewish wedding is? That's the wedding of the land, the wedding feast of the land. Glory be to God. It's coming, friend. It's coming. I'm telling you. And I'm here on the 38th floor. Isn't that interesting? And the 38th parallel is the DMZ border of North and South Korea. So 38. Very interesting. But I'm here on the 38th floor, top floor of this apartment, penthouse building overlooking the Han River. And the Han River separates North and South Korea. It's the main river that flows all across Korea. And I'm sitting here. Glory be to God. And the river of God will flow again. The river of life will flow again. The Dead Sea will flow again. The river of Jesus Christ. The rivers of living water will flow again. Glory be to God. Rivers of justice. Rivers of breakthrough. Rivers of finances. Rivers of revival. The river of God will flow again. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Kindness says, I had a dream. I found a gold coin. Amen. Prophecies are coming to pass. The locusts are being destroyed. The devourer is being rebuked. The enemy spirits and forces that have been against you are being rebuked. And God is pushing them out and pushing out the camp of the enemy. Jesus. I'm telling you, we're in a season where prophecies are coming to pass. And this month, November and December, you're going to end this year with a big bang. You are going to end 2022 with a double-double anointing, double-double portion. You're going to end these two months, November and December. Come on, if you receive it, say amen. November and December with double portion anointing, Isaiah 22, 22. Jesus. I'm telling you, friends, nations are opening. Regions are opening. Get ready for calls, messages, inboxes, favors, DMs. Get ready for inquiries. Get ready for new deals, contracts. Get ready to sign your name on a dotted line. New contracts, new signage, new signs, new deals. Financial favor, breakthrough, prosperity is coming to you. It is your portion. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. And why is it important? And listen, some of you are saying, I've been waiting for a long time. Some of you are saying, I've been waiting for a long time. Why is this important? Because I believe, number one, this is a Cairo season in the spirit. Amen. And you, you already understand that. Universally and globally in the spirit, this is a Cairo season where everything is colliding together. Everything is coming onto a head-on collision. So this is a Cairo season, number one. Number two, how do I know that your years of waiting is coming into waiting to soaring this season? How do I know? Because of what I believe, what I'm seeing, and what I'm experiencing personally in my life. And as a prophet, as a man of God, whatever the Lord does in a man of God, a woman of God, in a leader, 
especially if you follow me and if this ministry influences you, then that means whatever grace is happening here is now flowing to you and unto you in Jesus' name. So do you tap into the glory right now? Do you connect with the grace in the room right now? Amen. This is a Cairo season. And my breakthrough is your breakthrough. My blessing is your blessing. My favor is your favor. Amen. And as you partake of the glory of God, you will drink of the cup of the Lord. You will drink. We will drink of the same cup in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm telling you, nations are about to experience the word of the Lord come to pass. Every country, every tribe, every tongue. Comment below what states or what country you're watching from right now. Comment below, friends. Because we are about to see the word of the Lord come to pass. We are about to see justice, righteousness, recompense, vindication, and overturning, and the rise of the new breed and of the ecclesia in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. Shout out. Help us to break the 200 mark today, friends. Help us to break the 200 mark today. Hallelujah. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm here in Korea. I made it safely. Thank you for all your love and prayers. And I made it safely. And tomorrow we head over to the prayer mountain. So I'm going to be in the prayer mountain for the next three, four days. Ministering. Hallelujah. And uh, I'm telling you, a governmental ambassadorial ambassador anointing is coming upon the church right now. Washington. Texas, Arkansas, Washington State. Yes, Lord. Rabababab, New Zealand. God bless you. Amen. Crystal Salt Solomon. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. From Florida, God bless you. Help us to break the 200 mark today, people of God. Amen. California, amen. And I'm telling you, there was a sign in the sky, the red blood moon, on the midterm day of elections. You cannot make this stuff up. There is a sign of red, a sign of the blood righteousness of Jesus in the sky. Thank you, Prophet Alana. From Charlotte, North Carolina, Namibia, still in Illinois. Amen. From Fiji, Northern California. Thank you, Lord. Missouri, Dallas, Texas, South Africa, Cape Town. Amen. I feel like my South African family has been missing on my Facebook lives recently. I miss you all. You're the name above all names. Las Vegas in the house. Amen. Connie says the blood speaks a better word. His blood speaks a better word. The blood of Jesus. Red in California, Virginia, Canada. God bless you. Arizona, Navajo Nation, oh, shalom to you. New Jersey, Philippines, Red Blood Moon, yes. Glory. Atlanta, Georgia. I'm telling you, God is sick and tired of all the lies, the false bearers of false witness. He is sick and tired of the corruption, the murder of babies, all the crime and lawlessness and and murder and rape that's happening. He's, God is, I'm telling you, God is not happy about this. You think he's just going to be silent in the heavens? Do you think the people of God, do you think we, the people, we're just going to be silent and do nothing? No, it's in our hands. The power of change is in our hands. This is a season to see the return and the overturn of God, of the glory of God. This is a season to take back our country in Jesus' name. Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tyler, Texas, Leyte, Philippines, shoo, Ooh, glory be to New Jersey, it's 3.30 in the morning in South Africa, that's why, thank you, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, thank you, Lord, come on, just praise them right now, thank the Washington State, I want you to lift up your hands, because this is a season or the word of the Lord is coming to pass. Do you receive what's been shared today? Do you believe it? If you believe, say, it is so. And give me some hearts and likes. This is a season, friends, where we are going to see the hammer of God's word. The hammer of God's justice. Glory be to God. 
this is a season where we're going to see an overturning. My goodness. Jesus. 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 Lift up your hands. I feel the spirit of prophecy. I feel the word of the Lord coming to me. Atascadero, God bless you. Shut up. I declare right now. I see in the spirit. The Bible says, cast your bread upon the waters. And in due time, it shall return to you. So I see a returning of loss. The losses are now returning. The people that left are returning. The opportunities you missed, you lost, are returning. It's returning. It's coming. Someone say it's returning. So there is a returning of the loss. Your business, your money, your ministry, your family. There is a returning and a restoration of whatever you felt you lost and was stolen, taken, and destroyed. So there is a restoration and a returning in Jesus' name. Hello there, hi, Jen. I'm in Korea now too. God bless you. There is a returning and a restoration of the things that were lost, taken, and stolen. Hear me now. Even in the last two to three years, whatever you lost in the last two to three years, this season, November, December to January, you're going to see a returning and a restoration. I believe in the next three months. Amen. If you believe it, say amen. It's coming. Cast your bread upon the waters. In due time, it shall return to you. Someone say it's returning. That's the comeback anointing. That's the comeback anointing. And you're going to come back stronger. It's going to come back with recompense. With interest. It's coming back with a greater interest. Come on. It's coming back with more money, with more value, more credibility, more oomph. It's coming back. My goodness. And it's going to be better. It's going to be better than what you thought, better than what you imagined, better what you expected, better. Because he's the God of better things, the better covenant. He's the God of the better, the greater, the greater glory. And the, how the, the glory of the latter will be greater than the former. Better covenant, better things. Better. Hey. The better. Thank you, Lord. Someone say hallelujah. Now lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for that word, for that vision. And the word of God says, though it delays, it shall not tarry much longer. Glory be to God. Every spirit of delay, hindrance, remove it now, Lord. Praise God, we just broke the 200 mark finally. Praise God. That spirit of delay and hindrance shall not be in the way any longer. God's going to make a way. The Red Sea is beginning to part. Did you hear that? The Red Sea is beginning to open. And you will cross through the Red Sea which stands for the blood of Yeshua. You're about to walk through, you're about to cross through, and your enemies, the horses and chariots of battle, are gonna get sunk and dunked and covered and removed under the blood of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Someone say vengeance. Vengeance is payback, recompense. For I see vengeance, says God. Vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. For God will not be silent. God will not be mocked. <laughs> he sits and laughs at his enemies. He's seated in the heavens above. And he laughs at his enemies. Why do the nations rage in vain? Why do the nations plot in vain? Glory, blah, 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 blah. And he sits and he laughs at his enemies. Because he has a better plan. He knows what's coming. God has some tricks up his sleeve. He has a trump card up his sleeve. The devil has overplayed his hand, has exposed himself. But God has something great up his sleeve. It's called the comeback. It's called recompense. It's called justice. Amen. And we declare and we decree, even in the United States, with all the voting polls and the voting machines, 
We declare the fire of God. Release angels and the hosts of heaven. That anybody who tries to lie and tamper with the voting. Lie and tamper with the voting. That literally it will be like the leprous moment. Where you will strike in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Put the fear of God upon anybody who's trying to tamper with the truth. Amen. God's doing it. And I'm telling you, in these days, we're going to see the spirit of the fear of the Lord manifest so strong in these days. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. In these days, we're going to see the fear of the Lord, Jesus, be so strong that people are going to think twice before they put their mouth on you, before they continue on. It's like, that lady, Tulsi, Tulsi, what's her name? Tulsi Gabbard or something? Yeah, Tulsi Gabbard, where she left the Democratic Party and said, I'm done with this. I'm done with these evil, elitist, globalist cabals. And Tulsi Gabbard just exposing them and said, I was a part of that, but now I'm not. Amen. I'm telling you, we're going to see this happen even more. People are going to jump ship. Say jump ship. People are going to jump ship. People are going to cross over to the line of Jesus. They're going to cross over the line of Jesus. Choose this day whom you will serve, whether Baal, whether Jehovah, whether Jezebel, whether Elijah. Choose this day whom you will serve. And people are going to jump ship, jump over the line. They're going to cross over the line. They're going to cross over to the side of Jesus Christ, to the side of the Lord. Amen. When Joshua encountered the angel of the Lord. Joshua said, whose side are you on? Are you on my side or are you on their side? But the angel of God said, it doesn't matter what side I'm on. It matters what side are you on? Are you on God's side? Are you on the side of the Lord? Someone say hallelujah. Yes, Susan Beckett. Oh, you're from Hawaii. Aloha, Susan. That's right. Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii. And that's so important because Hawaii has been one of the most democratic states in all of us in fact they were the first state i believe to legalize abortion the more west you go the more left you go but we're going to see every left coast turn into the righteousness of jesus amen the fire of god because people are fed up. i'm fed up people are fed up closing businesses mom and pop stores local stores Shutting down tourism, mask up, vaccine, all this nonsense, jabs, killing babies. And there's so much evidence and proof right now of the jab that are killing people and are hurting their lungs and hearts. And I'm telling you, justice, it's time for payback. We're not that stupid, are we? We the people, we're not that stupid. But I'm telling you, we are going to see the hand of God, shake this country, shake America. We're going to see the hand of God shake the nations. And every word concerning Namibia, South Africa, Philippines, Korea, America, Hawaii, California, Arizona, every single word concerning every single region, we're going to see it come to pass. Amen. But it's a fight. We need to pray. We need to vote. We need to stand up. We need to speak out. Get the word out. Not be afraid of the tactics of fear and of the domineering, tyrannical, dictatorship spirit of the enemy. We need to stand up. It's time to take America back. It's time. And I believe I prophesy now. We're going to see resurrection in America. We're going to see a resurrection of truth, justice, and righteousness in the United States. Amen. We're going to see a resurrection of truth, justice, and righteousness in the United States. I believe this year, in this season, it's coming to pass. Someone say amen. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. <sighs> 
And even this morning, I woke up to some great news. Something I've been working on for three years has finally come to pass. Bing, 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 cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. This year, today, today, this day, this morning, something I've been working on for three years finally came to pass. And I released that same grace over you, over your life. Let it be, let it be, according to your word, let it be. Hallelujah. And all of God's people said amen and amen. My goodness, people, I feel like I could scale a wall and run across a troop right now. I'm so excited. I am just so excited being here in Korea. So God bless you, friends. Thanks for your love and your prayers. Do share this on your wall. If you were blessed, if you agree with the word of the Lord, if you say, Dr. Ben, this is truly what God's saying, prophecies, overturn, red wave, justice. If you agree, say amen and share this on your wall. Amen. Tag somebody, share this on your wall. Glory be to God because we're about to see resurrection in the United States. Amen. Thanks for watching, friends. I'm here in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, I'm happy to be here in my motherland. And uh, thanks for all your prayers and love. And tomorrow we'll be at the prayer mountain of Dr. Yonggi Cho, ministering for three days there. So keep me in prayer. It's going to be monumental, historical. Shukarababa. Love you, bless you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.